Tasker now has Shizuku integration. Shizuku is an app that, co that connects to ADB Wi-Fi on your device and then allows other apps to use it and to run powerful commands with it that normally only root users can use. So with Shizuku integration, Tasker can now run many commands that it couldn't before uh, very easily. So Shizuku has the advantage that it connects to ADB Wi-Fi on, on boot, and you don't, don't even have to connect it to a computer like you had to do it with Tasker. So if you go into Tasker, I have this task here that simply runs the ID command and the run shell action. And the run shell action now has a new option called use Shizuku. So by simply clicking this, you can see that it now outputs the ID shell. And the shell user has many, many permissions that the normal user uh, doesn't have. So if I uncheck this, you can see that it shows a different ID and this is the normal ID. But with the Shizuku ID, with the shell ID rather, you can do a lot more. As you can see, it runs its shell now. So I have a few examples here, a few examples. Um, first off, I've built in, I've built this into a number of actions. So for example, if you use the Wi-Fi tether action on Android 16, you now, you uh, previously you would get an error because Google changed out how Android works. But right now, if you run this, it will use Shizuku if it's available. So now it'll simply turn on tethering. And if I run it again, tethering is turned off. Simple as that. Same goes for airplane mode. Previously, you had to make Tasker your assistant or use root or ADB Wi-Fi to toggle this. Now you can simply run it. And if Shizuku is running in the background, it'll just toggle airplane mode normally. And if you run it again, as you might expect, airplane mode is turned off. Cool. And now even Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are able to be toggled without even having to install the Tasker settings app separately. You just have Shizuku running and Wi-Fi is toggled. Same for Bluetooth. It's currently disabled here. And if you run it, uh, sorry, it was previously enabled. And if you run it, it's now disabled. I've also added this to the kill current, the, the kill app action. So I have created this small task here to kill the currently opened app, which I've assigned to this quick setting tile here. So let's see if it works. So if I go into any app, let's say the Google Play Store app, for example, and currently Wi-Fi is disabled, that's why it's not opening. So if I go into this app and I'll click this, this will kill the current app, killing Google Play Store. And after a second, it just goes down. So now you can very easily kill apps as well. And you have access to a lot, lot more commands. And these are all just ADB shell commands, but I've set them up here so you can very easily access them and use them. For example, change device lock. You can now, uh, it has a warning that it's a, a rather dangerous, a dangerous action if you forget your lock. But if you set this, you could clear your lock screen or even set a, a new lock screen. So right now I don't have a lock screen. So let's set um, a new lock screen with a password one, two, three, four. And now if I run this, the password is set to one, two, three, four. So now if I turn off my phone and turn it on again, you won't see the, the screen, but now it's asking me for a password. And now I entered the password and here I am. 
So similarly, I could now disable the lock screen as long as you know your old password. So just clear it. The old password is one, two, three, four. And now I can run this. And if I turn on my phone and turn it on again, you can see that no longer the lock screen shows up. So this could be very useful. For example, if you're at home, you don't ever want to have your phone locked. So disable the lock screen. But as soon as you go out of your home, the lock screen could be enabled. You could clear app data. You could enable data saver mode. You could even enable or disable apps. For example, let's try disabling the calculator. Here it is. Uh, the calculator is here. So now if I run this action, it should simply go away. Let's see if it did. There you go. Conk calculator no longer exists. Let me just enable it again. So the, the command to enable it is just enable here. And if I run this, the calculator is back. Uh, let's see what other commands I can use. I could grant or revoke app permissions. I could even interact with quick setting tiles. Let's try this one. So let's say I want to use Solid Explorer and I want to toggle the FTP server uh, uh, quick setting tile. I could even add or remove it, but I want to click it. This creates this command. And now if I run this, let's see, the FTP server is disabled, it's this one. But if I click this, it clicks on the quick setting tile. And as you can see, it's now enabled. Cool. If I want to click it again, just run it again. There it is. Let's see, what more can we do? We can use overlays, which changes how the phone looks. We could, we could set a launcher so we you can have a different launcher at home or uh, at work or whatever. You can take a screenshot. You can even toggle a SIM card. Let's try this. So I have this SIM card here. I want to disable it. So if you have multiple SIM cards, you could, for example, enable a SIM card when you're at home and then a different SIM card somewhere else. In this case, I just have one of them. So I'm trying to disable the one I have. Let's see if it works. There it is. The SIM card is no long, it does just no longer exists. Just so to enable again, I can simply set this to one. And it should show up again here. And there it is. So we have, if you have mul multiple SIM cards, this is a good way to manage them. And finally, you can uninstall apps. But here in the services option, there's a lot, lot more hidden. So if you click on this, you get all, all of the system services and you can explore what, it, what exactly shows up here because the, there's really a lot of it. So let's say I only memorized this one. So it, in connectivity, you have the airplane mode command. So set it to true. And it generates this kind of cryptic command here. But on, on your phone, this will be correct. If you put this on a different phone, it might not work. So you ha always have to use a helper to select it. So let's see if this works. I just enabled airplane mode. Yeah, and it does work. So to disable it, I'm guessing you put a zero here. 
Yeah, and it does work. Cool. So now let me just enable Wi-Fi again. You could really dig into this. You could really dig in into these options here. I don't know what exactly what's available here. It's it's really a lot. But let me see if, for example, in USB, if there's anything interesting here. Is there a tether here? Not really. But you get the point. You just have to look around and see what interests you and see if anything is might be of use to you. You have a lot to, to play with here. So this is the Shizuku integration. You can now, now run many, many commands that you couldn't before. Shizuku is really handy because it starts automatically when your foot boots. And now Tasker can run super uh, powerful commands at any time without a hassle. So I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.